How flat does that look to you? Everybody always says how flat Kansas is. And for about two thirds of the state, it is pretty flat. But the part of Kansas where I'm from isn't so flat. The purpose of this video is to explain to you why that is. So let's get started. As you can see, this is a hay field obviously, but we couldn't cut hay right here in this little patch. And let me show you why. See that? Hopefully the sun's not too horrible. That rock is larger than I am. I wish I had something to compare it to. I forgot my tripod, so you guys have to bear with me. But, I mean, I can't even do it that way. It's huge. Um, that's probably the size of two or three people at least and the weird thing is, is there's probably two to three times as much rock underneath the ground that you can't see but these rocks are scattered all through here Let's see. and they're supposedly quartz rocks here's another one yeah, there's a sledgehammer. Guess what I'm getting ready to do. But a friend of mine lives down around, oh, I just say the Wichita area, where Kansas is really flat. Look at the size of this rock. I mean, you can see my shadow on it. I mean, I'm standing on the rock. But they're, they're everywhere, scattered throughout here. That light's horrible. I should have waited till. The sun went down. Let me stand over here in the shade and see if that'll help. Oh yeah. See we got rocks galore. Now these rocks are not native of Kansas. These rocks came from Canada and like I said they're strewn all out through here and in my part of Kansas it's real hilly and we have a lot of rocks just like this just coming up out of the ground they're a nuisance for us but uh, my buddy Travis uh, survived without complains that he has no rocks in his part of Kansas so I was shooting this video more or less to show everybody that not all of Kansas is like that. About two-thirds of the state is pretty flat. There's some more rocks. Well, you can see compared to my boot, I wear a nine and a half, so. But, I mean, they're just, there's more over there. It's drawn out everywhere. So I told Travis that I would get him some rocks. So here they are, come get them. <laughs> no. See if I can find a shady spot here. To show you guys something. Oh. All right, I printed off uh, some maps off the internet and uh, Bear with me. As you can see, this is the United States and Canada. Now what this map represents is the glaciers that came down, oh, like 10,000 years ago or something. But right through here is where the glaciers stopped, okay? And this little dot up here at the top is about where I'm at right now today. 
up around Holton, Kansas is where I'm at today. And this other little dot is about where Wichita, Kansas is. So, and the, uh, the Flint Hills of Kansas are right about at the edge of where this glacier line is. That's because the glaciers pushed all the dirt and the rock up and formed all those hills. But they stopped there. So, the rest of Kansas in this brown area is pretty flat. And that's why. I got another drawing here. A little bit a little closer up. Now, here's Kansas Nebraska border. Kansas comes along. You got our little corner there and come down. There's Topeka, which is about where I live. I'm just south of Topeka. This dot here, I stuck in there to represent where I'm at today. And that's where all the rocks are at that you're seeing. Now if we go a little west over here, uh, there's another place, a town called Onega. It's a little bitty town. But they have boulders and rocks the size of pickup trucks sticking up out of the ground. Wamigo, I've seen uh, there's a place that Wamigo has that this that looks like somebody just scattered these uh, oh boulders, probably 12 inch boulders out across the ground, just laying loose, and it looks like somebody laid them there. But that that's not how they came to be. They uh, they came from the glaciers. So. Hopefully, I'm no teacher by any means, guys, but uh, hopefully this will help you some. I mean, look at the size of that rock. I really wish I'd have brought my tripod so I could sit on one so you could see how big they are. But all through this wooded area right here, it's supposed to be a hay field, but it can't be hayed because of all these rocks throughout here. And, uh, we call them Canadian rocks. But supposedly, what I've been reading is they're quartz. Oh, goodness. And quartz is supposed to make a good striker for a flint and steel. So, when my buddy Travis comes up, I'm going to send him home with some quartz. Like I said, I would. Let me see if I can get in here in the shade so you can see it. That's a uh, glacier rock, and this stuff is hard. And if you can get it to break, it usually leaves a a sharp edge. I doubt it. We'll see what this does. Oh, hey, that one did break. Now, that's the rock I just had in my hand. Now, if you look, that is a very sharp edge. I mean, you can just about cut your finger on it. The video really doesn't do it any justice. I'm trying to get it to focus. Pretty hard rock, though. So... Travis, I hope you will enjoy these. And anybody else that needs rocks, this every edge of this rock is sharp. That just broke. Look at that. Let's see if I here we go. Yeah. Every edge is sharp. It's pretty hard rock. So, I'll load some up in the pickup. Oh, it breaks easier than I thought it would. But I don't think I'd want to make a job out of it. Whoop. These ones here I noticed are uh, a little more red in color than some of the others that I've seen 
in the area. Maybe that's why they're so brittle. Most of the ones that we have are more of a, a gray, which these may not have as much quartz in them. Or maybe it's got too much, I don't know. I'm no geologist by any means. So there you go guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And once again, show you that uh, Kansas just isn't that flat. When I was down in, uh, uh, I was down around Salina a couple weeks ago, and you could see for miles because it is flat there. But here, you really can't see all that far. Of course, we have a lot of trees, but even without the trees, it's uh, it's just so hilly. So, hope you enjoyed the video and. Uh, We'll, till next time.